One of the final events at the G7 summit in France was a meeting on global climate change. But President Trump was a no-show. Aides claimed that the president was busy in meetings that went long with the leaders of Germany and India. So staffers went to that climate meeting instead. But here, what that video you're looking at there shows is German Chancellor Merkel and the Indian Prime Minister Modi sitting side by side at that uh, meeting on climate change. Our Daniel Dale, fact checker extraordinary, joins me now. Uh, Daniel, it was uh, no secret uh, that the president uh, wasn't eager to discuss climate change um, at the G7, um, but it's quite another thing to, to snub this meeting uh, as a whole. So what happened here? Well, we don't know exactly what happened. Perhaps he had some urgent classified priority that they can't tell us about. Perhaps he had to go to the bathroom. What we do know, though, is that this event was on his schedule. The White House then told us he didn't come because he had meetings with Modi and Merkel. Right. And then we saw this photo of Modi and Merkel. So I think the simplest ex explanation is simply that the White House lied again to, to cover for him. And that he had no interest in discussing that. The president, Daniel, as you know, later said that he is an environmentalist. Let's listen to that. In a nutshell, I want the cleanest water on Earth. I want the cleanest air on Earth. And that's what we're doing. And I'm an environmentalist. You, a lot of people don't understand that. I have done more environmental impact statements probably than anybody that's, I guess, I can say definitely, because I've done many, many, many of them, more than anybody that's ever been president or vice president or anything even close to president. And I think I know more about the environment than most people. He then talked about uh, drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, and he went after windmills as an alternative source of energy. President, as a hero of the environment, is there any evidence to support that? Alex, there is no basis for that whatsoever. The New York Times did a really good piece a couple months ago where they listed 83 separate environmental regulatory rollbacks undertaken by the Trump administration. That's everything from mining debris in streams to the pollutants emitted into the air. And so, no, there's no basis for this. And when he says that he's an environmentalist because he's done environmental impact statements, those impact statements are the things that developers have to do when they're proposing a development project. It doesn't make Make you an environmentalist to do an environmental impact statement. 